Well, a warm welcome back. Today you join me in one of my favourite places, Rivington, yet again. Uh, behind me, um, I don't know if you can see, you can possibly hear it, it's a waterfall we're going to. So, one more thing to say, I've got my gear on back, let's roll the titles. Well, here I am, the first waterfall. It's not actually how I remember it. I remember it's just one fall with a path went over it, but as I've got here, sadly wrong again. Right, let me spin you around and just adjust this. It's actually two. There's one there, which leads up to the lake. Go we'll round over the path and right, take you down. And then there we go, that's the other one down there. Oh, wrong there. This, that's one that I'll be going to in a second. But for now, it's all about this one. I'm going to take a couple of shots, uh, get set up first. Um, there's a few, hang on a minute, get me in. There's a few geese over there. Um, I possibly get the Christmas cottage in the background. Um, that shot looks best in autumn. I've got a shot of that, which took one, maybe two, maybe even three years ago. Um, I will stick that at the end. Um, it's a nice shot, that. Well, I think it is anyway. Right, so let me get this up and I'll get back to you in a second. Well, I'm all set up now. I've got the Chikina 1116 on my Nikon. Woohoo! Got Nick on out for a change. Um, I think I've got a decent shot here. Got the water coming down. Got a, the pulse coming in shot, somewhere out of shot. Um, the fisherman's cottage. Well, I'm presuming that. Yeah, it's number nine the, for the B roll earlier. Got that in shot. Um, export to the sky because it's quite a bright there. The sun is off to my right. Um, but yeah, I've got a good image. But I've also seen while I've been down here, um, one looking back with the way the water's flowing under the bridge. It's a nice, nice archway really. Um, so a quick shot of what I've got here. Oh, spin your range. Oh, let me get that right. That's what I've got there, going at the moment. 50 seconds, F11. I saw a one, which is equivalent to 50. So I'm going to move on now. It's only 40 steps away from where I am now. And shoot from behind. And I'll put those images up as well. As I was making my way down, I had to stop and get the shot. It's a shot I've never actually got before. Purely because when I've been here before, it's been late summer, early autumn, it's just been covered in green weeds. And I mean, absolutely covered. But I saw the shot and I said, I've got to get it, I've got to get it. But it is, I've got both waterfalls and the bridge in the shot. Can you just spin your own? That's what I've got. You can just, just about see the fair waterfall at the back under the bridge coming under and it's just coming down. I've got this branch, this uh, dead branch on the left hand side just leaving in from about three quarters down, just leaving to the middle of the shot. I've got a vertical, vertical composition and oh, I think it's absolutely sweet at the back of the camera. 
sweet, I can't wait to show you. Well, I finally made it. I'm in the water. Uh, as like I said earlier, I forgot that there's two parts of this waterfall. But also, what I also forgot, which is a major thing for here, is the amount of flying teeth. My God, I've been bitten over us, always and everywhere. I knew I should have put some fire spray in, but I'll get some antihistamines on the way home. Right, location. Oh, I've got a couple of nice shots here. Uh, I'm doing vertical, vertical photographs here. Let me just sit you down and spin you around. Obviously that's the fall itself. I'll just switch this camera on, I can show you. Hang on. Help to press the right button on it. Never think about all this camera. And that's the shot that I'm getting. I've got this rock here in front of me. With the, with the stick leading towards the fall. Then a little bit further up. There's another one merged on the left hand side, just coming in and taking you to the bank and then that's taking you all the way to the edge of the waterfall the stick in the waterfall is taking you up. That's my take on it. Um, I've got the rock on the centre to right hand side and then it follows up. Um, I've got another one which is using the other, which is using the other stick which is taking the, that similar line up. I'm going to take a couple of vertical, uh, sorry, horizontal ones as well, get some shots, and then I'll make my way to my next location. See you in a second. Copies Cricket Club, the groundsman there, possibly doing the first cut of the season, maybe, don't know, no expert in this. Also, the pavilion. If you're looking around here, nice summer's day, come down, watch a bit of cricket, have a bit of tea and coffee and a bit of food. Oh, and as well, if you're looking around here, players are wanted, so come on, all you cricket lovers. Get signed up. What a location. This is what I've come to. But it's not the actual main fall that I've come into. It's just when I've come across, I've, I've just the lights change now to what I've just I've just got an image in the rock in the foreground which is that one that was all lit up so I've got a couple of shots of that horizontal vertical but it, the light is absolutely amazing right let's carry on Well, here I am at the waterfall I come to. And yet again, as you can see there in the bottom of the screen there, there's a rock covered in moss. What's in my foreground shot? I don't know what it is today. I've just been obsessed with rocks in the foreground with moss, green moss, which is catching light. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to take another shot now because the light has just hit. You can't see if I turn you around. The light is just hitting that now. I've just got a few shots in there, um, all bracketed, so I can merge those together. I'm going to move up a little bit further up so I can get in between the, the trees, the fallen trees that I do, and manage to capture um, some close up images 
of the sluice gate. Um, just using 2470 on this one. Um, obviously polarizer because when the light's hitting the water at the back, it is it's blowing it right out. So I get a few more images and I'll be back soon. I've finally moved up now. I've gone past the tree I was shooting for. Um, that's it there. Now I've moved up to the other side. This is the image that I'm getting at the moment. Hang on, when it works. There we go. That's basically the last shot I've got. I framed the bottom of the tree, going from left to right, and it takes you up. Then the branch at the top points towards the sluice gate which is worked out perfectly. Um, I'm going to set another shot into the bridge now. It's virtually that composition but with a little touch of water coming through there. But it's absolutely superb in fact the light's changing now. I'm going to see if I can get it right. No I'm going to have to move it there. Back up. Right, I'm back. I just had to move the tripod back about a foot, a foot and a half so I can get it in. This is what I've got. So the waterfall coming down here, and then got a little bit of water coming through, just showing the glow. Right, I'm back. I just had to move the camera back about a foot, a foot and a half, just so I could get everything in. So using 24 70 was on the last shot of the 24 so I had to move it right back. This is what I've got. As you can see, I'm just going to that a bit. You've got the sluice case at the top, you've got the water coming down, you've got the tree there swinging around, and it points towards the sluice gate handle. So that's mighty fine how I had it before, but now I've got a bit of water coming through there at the bottom, which I think is a mighty fine image for today. Oh, it's beautiful. The sun's coming out. It's still quite bright, actually. Um, don't forget, I've got the images at the end, especially of the uh, Fisherman's Cottage and Autumn. Nice image, that. So don't forget, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And I'll see you soon. Plenty more fun. I'll make tomorrow. Ooh, fingers crossed. Um, so, one more thing. Bye!